Double Vertical Saiyans is now affiliated with Big Orbit Cards. So you now can get your sealed products and singles if you click the link in the description box below. So enjoy guys. Alright, hey everybody, Double Vertical Saiyans here, I'm Matt. Hello, I'm Jonah. And we have the uh, box promo reveal. <laughs> there's nothing big. Um, I like how it says cards, but there's a singular one. Yeah. Um, so first box promotion. Wait, why is it saying first box promotion? No, it's a W promotion. W promotion, first box promotion. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, sorry, it's a gold stamped promo called. Oh, uh, gold stamped. It doesn't look different. I, 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 I don't know. I don't even. We can all that. Wait, okay, so... Well, let's have a look at it. I, I was going to go onto this to have a look at it. Cool. Because, um, yeah, reading it will be a bit easier. There we go. So, Black Mass Saiyan <coughs> Splintering Mind. Did I say Splintering? Yeah, okay. Yep, Splintering. So, there's a 4 drop with 19k power. And 5k combo power. I... what? What fuse has a I can't even, like, just so it, it, throw, it throws me off whenever I see 19, I'm just like, why is it 19? Just anything that isn't any in the 5 or 10, it's like, why? So yeah, 4 drop, 19k, um, also when you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and send to their warp. Really uh, good, if it didn't say choose, it would be better. Yeah. Uh, Auto Sparking 7. When this card attacks, if your lead card is black, you may choose two cards in life and send them to the owner's warp. If you do, choose up to one card in your opponent's life and send them to the warp. It says the owner's, uh -oh. so... Choose two cards in your life. Yeah, but... Okay, so you crit warp yourself. Yeah, it says send them to your its owner's warp, so... Yeah. Why would it say that if it's your life? Your two lives, you may choose two yeah, scars in yeah, your that. life and send to it, it uh, to it as well. Yeah. Because I don't know, they're weird with their words. Are, are we planting stuff in people's lives now? Um, Why didn't I get the memo? <laughs> I, d I don't know. I think they've got to be like very. They're covering their asses. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, and then it's just, you, yeah, getting rid of something. In your opponent's life, but it's it's one of those where if they're on one life, kill them. Yeah. Basically, if you're on one life, oh, you're dead now. Yep. That was an easy win. Sort of. Um, I like it, but it's very restrictive. Yeah. Like, there's yeah a black leader. Yeah, there's a few of those. But because it's sparking and not overwhelm, it's basically restrictive to the Shaman leader or the Fujita leader. Well, I think it's fine. It's just the taking two from your own life to get rid of one of theirs. But so it becomes situational. It's first burst is fine. Yeah. Play it, said something. If it's big and doesn't have barrier, hey, isn't that funny? Or indestructible. Yeah. Just don't forget about Zanmasu. <laughs> Only Zanmasu. At the moment, yes. They may bring in some other stuff as indestructible, but... Like new Zanmasu's. <laughs> yes, like new Zanmasu's. <sighs> yeah, it's cool card. Mm. I do like the content of it. I wish it wasn't so restrictive, but if it wasn't so restrictive, it would go in everything and then, yeah, just... A bugger. Yeah. Because you... If your opponent is on one life or two life, and you're going to go for end game, um, because obviously the card that they lose doesn't go to their hand. Um, yeah, the cards you lose don't go to your hand. But you're going to push for game. If they're on two life. Because if you can't get them to one life, but you know... That if you get them to that one life using this effect and then just go tack 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 because yeah. um especially if the um it's, it's, SR of the 
Like, they're just going to be taking the bounce life anyway. Hmm. It's... Yeah. So you have a risky, like, two-turn combo kill. Yeah. Can be done, but I... I still don't like the restriction on it. It's too restrictive. Yeah. Um, but it has to be, just because otherwise it'd be out of hand. Cool card. Probably will see a lot of play in the actual Fujita deck. Yeah. Probably. To be honest, like, why wouldn't it? Um, some people might use this in overall decks as well. Just don't you? Because you can use the old black leaders just for the milling aspect. Yeah. Um, just so you can, because they get into sparking quicker. Yeah, you just don't have the overall aspect, but they are slightly quicker on it. Yeah, some are. Like, I mean, you can just use Demigra. Yeah. For the, like, other way converting. Just to mill yourself consistently. Yeah. But other than that, I can't really think of anything else. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, what else we got ready for set 5 that's going to make any difference? Oh, actually, good. Ah, sorry guys, we went completely off top of there, but no, it is an interesting card. So hopefully we will see some play, it should see some play. Um, okay, so yes, BR on October 26th. And the secret on November 2nd. See, so, uh, because they've only got the one silhouette type thing there. Does that mean they're only going back to one secret? Perhaps. Like, just because... Because I know there was only one secret in one March last tournament, but that was because it was just an extra set type thing. I'm just yeah. Saying. I mean, they might just be going to one secret, but increased ratio. Or it's one secret for this set, and then maybe next time they get two. Hmm. True. That is true. Um... There is one other thing, guys, that they did make an announcement, um, but it's not actually on their face. Well, it's on their Facebook and not on the actual main website. <laughs> so, I can't actually show you the, um, the announcement that they posted. Yeah, but it's here because... it's involving a certain little fellow who's triggered this thing three times now. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, if you haven't actually seen the announcement, it, they basically turned around and got in the nicest way possible. We've been testing this um, ourselves, and we've worked out that it's going to be stupid even with set five. Yeah, <laughs> basically, <laughs> if, I, if I'm remembering what they said roughly, that is the gist of it. They've been testing themselves, testing themselves well, as well as listening to the community. They've been looking at it. From the perspective of using um, heightened evolution, and they've also taken in player feedback. And the players have said it's nice to have it temporarily banned because there's a variety of decks and leaders. And they've realised that even with set 5, it will still see play, so they've shut it down temporarily. Like, until they change their mind, it's just been shut Flat down. Outbound. Flat outbound in tournament play. Casual play is still fine for it. Like, local tournaments, you're probably okay, it's just regional well, and... Well, it depends if local tournaments go off the actual restriction list, yeah. ban list, then flutes at one as well, so... Well, that's what I say, like, should be okay, because it depends on your local. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so, like, if you go to a tournament or you're just playing by tournament rules because of the competitive area you're in, a heightened life in the grave for now. <laughs> um, I think the day it comes back is a day that is no longer relevant. Yeah. Like the, the, the game would have progressed that far forward It'll come, that it's no longer relevant and will do nothing. It'll come back at a point where it doesn't. Like, yeah, I wouldn't say it's not relevant, but it's not going to make a huge impact. It might come back, but not immediately replacing blue, it would still just be people who preferred it as a leader. But you, you get things that are going to come out anyway and people just run it or you'll find a new way around it. Yeah, exactly. So, it being banned, 
Yeah, smart move. Makes sense to do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm behind the idea. If it means that the tournament is varied and there's a, people are expanding the game in perspective of what they build, not just like, oh, we're going to do this with Python because it's easy. That's good. I mean, yeah, we did it with Bergman, but like, we did, <laughs> we did that for a tournament. Yeah, in, it, for, in it, my defence it was a, a it big was enough like, scale tournament to warrant doing it. Yeah, otherwise we would have, you would have to just have Bergman read it. Yeah. But it was like, no, we want to win this thing, we want to get a trophy, this is our best chance. Yeah. <laughs> Had to go all out. Yeah. So, I was only being dirty for that one tournament. Which is fine. It was fine. There, there's, a, like, there's a big prize up, so why not? Yeah. Crap, it was just full of veggies. Anyway, sorry guys, we're going really off topic now. Um, so, height and being banned, yes, it's good. The promo, yeah, seems interesting. Yeah. Uh, as an overall thing, that's basically it, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, we'd love to hear your thoughts on both, like the SS3 banning and the promo. Probably gonna hear more on the SS3 banning, but hey! <laughs> it, it, I think it might just be a universal agreement of they made the right decision. Yeah. In the flat out ban. I hope it is. I don't want to deal with people getting all up to, like, not on here, but just like personally, as I'm going around the shop and hearing people get up in arms about it, I don't want to spend forever telling them it's fine to not have meta. You can live without meta. Don't be a junkie. Yeah, but we've got what Vegeta Ultimate Box. Yeah, we got replacements. I've like yeah. I saw the post on the Facebook when they announced it, and there was like 20 comments of "Here comes Krillin." <laughs> it's like, don't worry guys, we got cringe. Oh, yeah, people don't care, we got a new leader for it. <laughs> yeah, basically. You got Krillin, you got Herodigon, you got Ultimate Box Vegeta. Um, what else we got? Chinamba? Yeah. Like, so. <laughs> there's, there's plenty of replacements. Soul Striker. Could actually make a comeback. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like Soul Striker disappeared just because they announced Titan. It basically does the same thing. Yeah. If you, but it can also self awaken. Yeah. Whereas Soul Striker can't. Soul Striker is relying too much on other stuff. Yeah, but. Whereas um, Heighten wasn't relying so much on other stuff. Yeah, but like, I feel the main reason Titan was played. Besides the self awakening was like getting energy back was consistent, it's like yeah but soft strike does the same. Pass for attack. Yeah, but And then you don't attack When aren't you going to attack your leader? Yeah, but then it's like you get the energy back and then you can't really attack yourself out. I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> so that's it then, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, like um Jonas said guys, if you like to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Um be nice to see what you think. You already know how we feel. Goodbye, yes, this story. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> You'll be missed at some point. Right, bye guys. Bye.